Hello everyone and welcome to our guide on how to change your Sons of the Forest server settings on your Nitrado panel. As more and more come out about the game Sons of the Forest, there's a lot of new settings constantly being added that you can actually adjust. But if you don't know how to adjust these settings or don't even know that they exist, then you can't really change them, can you? That's why today we're going over how to change your settings on the Nitrado panel. How to edit your settings. First things first, of course, you want to head into your dashboard and take note of a couple of things. Up in the top left, you can see your user ID, your IP, and your game port and query port. You can also see the player count, your current map, which in this case is actually just the difficulty, unlike Arc, which will actually show the map, and your version. You scroll down a little bit farther and there's the golden area where you want to be, the general settings. Clicking in this area is what's going to be where you want to go, and you're going to see a big long list of a bunch of different variables that you can change to change your server settings. We're going to go over some of these, but the main thing that you want to take note of is that each individual setting has a description underneath it to describe what the setting means. There are also some settings that specifically cannot be changed unless you create a new world, so that is something to take into consideration as well. So let's do an example on what some of these changes could be. Go ahead and stop your server up in the top right and double down on the pop-up that appears. Then, once the server fully stops up in the top left, you'll see server stopped. You're going to scroll down and in this case, we're going to change the server password to something random like the example I gave here. Then I'm going to change the game mode from peaceful to normal. And finally, I'm going to change the structure damage from on to off. Then once I'm done, I'm going to hit the green save changes button down at the bottom. And then once the server page resets, you'll notice that the changes did take effect. However, to fully make them take effect, what you want to do is head back into your dashboard by going to the top left and hitting the dashboard button, and then hitting the green start server button to start your server back up, double down on the pop-up once again, and after just a few moments, you'll be good to go. Conclusion. Hopefully you enjoyed this quick guide on how to change some of the server settings in your Sons of the Forest server. If you happen to like this video, please consider leaving a like, subscribing, and ringing that notification bell. That way we know this is the content you like to see. Until next time. Huh. Huh.